So here are some re-itemized items from Zulfarak, Uldaman, Mara, Blackrock Depths and Sunken Temple guys. Brain fog, I know, I've been on a water fast. So make sure to smash like and subscribe if um, you like any of the items from this video. So basically the first item that we see, it's the big bad shoulders from Zulfarak. They used to have 12 strength, 12 stamina, 8 spirit. Now the 8 spirit converted into agility, making them pretty good for uh, fresh level 50s. That's the nice stats right here. Okay, let's start with Zulfarak first. The first thing we see here is the sword that you can make from combining the two other swords. Has been buffed on speed, 3.4 speed. It has 52 damage per second. 18 strength, 16 stamina, which makes it great for PvP. And the chance on hit strikes an enemy with the Rage of Sultres, lowering their strength by 15 and dealing 90 to 200 damage with an additional 125 over 15 seconds. So this sword really looks cool, so I think a lot of people will try to farm it. The next one is the Jumanza Grips, which has Stamina, Intellect and 12 Spell Power. I can't wait to get those, actually I'm gonna probably farm them solo. Because I, I have the Dreamwave Gloves. This seems to be good overall for PvP and for grinding. Oh, oh. Look at this, an offhand, the... They put 15 spell power, stamina, and intellect on the offhand. I want this one, man. Holy. This is actually an upgrade. It requires only level 42. You can get those as you level up to 50. That's why I'm saying, like, the first dungeon that we do, it's Zulfarak, probably. The shoulders we already saw. They got 8 agility, which makes them great for warriors, paladins. We have a dagger that went from green to blue. The only thing changed here is the damage per second, I think. We have, oh, look at the chest. Remember the useless chest that used to drop from a Gazrilla? Now it has 15 strength, 8 agility, 10 stamina, 11 intellect. Wow, that looks pretty decent, man, for a, a male chest. Leather chest from a... Wow, this is pretty good. I'm afraid that the itemization is quite too good, man, to be true. Look at this leather. Pants. From a 10 intellect, 24 spirit to... Stamina, Intellect, Spirit, and Spell Power. Then we have a necklace which got 50 armor. Okay, it's supposed to be a tank. Oh, wait a minute. Apparently some Uldaman loot gets uh, changed as well. But I don't know exactly how, because... Uh, I don't see any difference. Oh yeah, the speed. So the speed from 270 to 340. Plate Bracers here get more strength, more stamina. Oopsie, look at this, boys. The Grimlock Tribal Vestments get uh, 19 spell power, 10 stamina, 5 intellect. Ooh. I can solo this boss with my Hunter. The Dagger from Mara gets 11 spell power. Interesting. The Shield from... Uh, wait. This is Mara, okay. So there is a Shield with 12 spell power now. Oh my god, let's see what else. The boots here get 14 spell power. Nice. The mega shot rifle goes from 1.7 speed to 3.0 speed. This is actually better than the Nomar gun right now. The gun from Nomar has 25 damage per second and uh, 2.9 speed. So the damage is higher than the... Wow, this is worth getting, guys. As a viable upgrade from... Well, you're gonna get the crossbow anyway from... Uh, Ooh. Look at the neck, boys. Oh my god, look at that neck. 10 stamina, 10 intellect, 13 spell power. Oh, it's healing. No, it's healing. Wrecked. I'm sorry, I thought it was like spell power, but it's healing. 13 stamina, 20 intellect, 13 healing. This is damage and healing, though. This is damage and healing. Man, I kind of... Uh, Kind of like some of the items look at the the inventor focal sword it has one percent crit and 11 spell power the, the speed was removed uh, as well so this looks like a nice sword this with the offhand from zulfarak could be pre -bis. and the rot grip mantle has 13 spell power 17 intellect, however. Wow. 
Um, the helmet got 19 stamina here. Less armor. The offhand from... I'm not sure where, whatever this one drops from. But it does have 9 intellect, 9 spirit, 18 spell power. Wow. Seems like a lot. The Fist of Stone now has healing done. And chance on hit to restore 50 mana. Um, I don't think a healer is gonna like auto attack. Maybe a paladin. Every now and then. But yeah. It's from the rock boss. Oh yeah, the often from the rock boss. This one is pretty good here. The shoot sayer headdress. 18 spell power. 18 intellect. Wow. The mace we saw already. It's more suitable for warriors, but for druids also. Eh. Not really. It used to be a level 49 item, but now it's a 46 item, which is kind of interesting. They removed like 3 levels requirement, but also they reduced the amount of uh, DPS from it. So it's kind of a nerf to it, not necessarily a buff. And boys, we're moving to Blackrock Depths. Oh, wow. Shoulders mailed with 15 strength and agility. There's the Houndmaster bow. And look at this one. This one gets received like a, a huge one. So this one is going to be 27 damage per second. 3.10 speed. Whoa. Oh, there we go. We found it, boys. We found the beast offhand. So, there's 9 intellect, 1% hit, and 8 spell power. We found it. It's from the first boss in BRD. Yeah, that's pretty good speed, but also... Like, those items could be... Could be really good, man. There's another staff here. 10 stamina, 12 intellect, 1% crit. 15 intellect, the kindling stuff. Right here. My god. And then we get the sunken temple. Those are quest items. More strength on this one. Then strength. The dirk gets some agility. Gem burst. Ooh, wow. 9 stamina, 17 intellect, and damage done by 22. Wait a minute. 22 spell power for a helmet. 9 stamina, 17. Wow, this is like a, a PvP item, man. This is a, this is big, man. Wow. Oh, look at those uh, things that you get from the bag, from the quest. Now it's going to have 10 strength, 13 stamina. Uh, not bad. From 7 strength, 10 stamina. Some pants here are going to get healing. Helm of Exile, we already knew about this one. But look at this, 36 attack power, 11 agility. Can't really say no to that, boys. Frost, it says our traps are being cast from no cast to instant cast. I don't know what's the difference. Uh, that's why I'm saying. I was looking at, uh, I didn't know the difference. This one uh, doesn't really matter. Damage done by fire spells up to 29. Okay. And the trink and the chain essence of Ekranius gets changed from the green one to having 10 stamina, 10 nature resistance. But the proc is kind of the same. It went from 15 minutes cooldown to 10 minutes cooldown. Okay, it made it blue. And some stamina. Wow, this is really cool, guys. I'm looking forward to run some of those dungeons on my mage and on my hunter. But also some plate items. There's a bit for everyone. Maybe not so much... Like, I would like to get this one if I would play a warrior or a paladin. But it's going to take a lot of... Um... Yeah. Anyway, guys, remember to subscribe if you're watching this from YouTube. And um, if you're watching from YouTube, also come down by the stream at twitch.tv slash Thank you very much for watching. See you in Season of Discovery Phase 3. Bye-bye! Oh